watching FloorDaily.net and I'm Kemp Har. We're at Surfaces 2012 in Las Vegas and we're in the J. Mish booth and I'm with Jack Mishkin, an old friend of mine. Jack, how you doing? Good, Kemp. How are you? Good to be with you. Thank Let's, you. Let, let, let me ask you real quick, uh, how many years have you been coming to Surfaces? I can't count. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Okay, well, many, let, many. well, let me fill in uh, just so the audience knows, Jack, you've, you've, I think you started Bentley Mills in California. You are a partner with Monterey. When it comes to product design, I mean, there's just, you're, top, you're the top guy. You've got, uh, you, you work, still work with Bentley Print Street on a lot of their upper end nylon styles. And uh, you also um, have your own mill in Cartersville, Georgia under the name of Jay Mish, right? Correct. That's very true. All right. One of the first questions I want to ask you, you play in the upper end. We know that nylon prices have gone up. We know wool prices are, are through the roof. Um, but, you know, uh, some mills, they just try to always have certain things at certain price points, but that's not the way you play the game, is it? Well, we, we have some things at price points, but then if you're a price point kind of person, you would think, oh, you got to start out really low and then mid. But there is no really low in wool. And in nylon anymore, there's no really low in nylon. So um, we just make a quality product, and we're, we start out at around $20, and we go up to wherever, wherever we need to go, $80, $90, $100. Okay. And that's wholesale pricing, right? And that's wholesale pricing, yeah. Okay. yeah. All, right. All right, so what kind of trends are we seeing when it comes to product designs and what the consumer is liking out there? Well, as far as designs go, um, in the wool niche, you have woven designs, um, both in the natural fibers and in wool, and in wool and silk. They're very either very subtle or, or very bold. It's uh, and modern continues to be a big theme in design. Explain modern. Well, there's so much modern architecture in the high end, and and um, I know I talk to my friends that buy these expensive condos and things like that. And 100% of the time, they hire designers, and it's modern design inside. So they go to even graze a lot for the palette with glass tables and, you know, metals and things like that. So you have to be cognizant of that in your design. Great. So you've uh, actually, Jay Mish, you've kind of freshened up your brand a little bit, changed your logo to kind of a, a jewelry store type look. Talk a minute about that, if you would. Uh, we worked real hard on getting the logo to look like it was a more of a jewelry kind of uh, designer brand than a carpet designer brand. It's very, very, it's just absolutely striking and gorgeous. And we've got a new display, and, and even in our existing display, we put the new logo and the new signage on it. It's changed our whole image. All right, so you've got some new products you're introducing. I know we're walking on one here that's a, I believe you said it's a combination wool blend with a little bit of nylon that looks like silk. Is that right? That is true. Yeah, we have a, this would be the third in a collection of wool where we actually cable a very high luster um, nylon that looks like silk on the wool. And we have three different textures. One of them is very high in pile height and loose and nubby. Uh, the other one is very low and structured, and this one is sort of medium in pile height and striates like a, um, like a woven piece. What's it called? This is Intuition. Intuition. What else are you, are you talking about at the show here? Um, we, we're showing uh, two new lattice designs. Um, one of them has white in the lattice in every single color and very sophisticated neutrals in the background. And then the other one has a, is a three-color lattice, and one of the ends is silk-like, um, and the other two are two different size wools to give it a, a magic. And um, those are beautiful. Then we have um, this intuition that you see on the floor, which is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Then we have a whole collection of Ecotex, which is an environmental story in that we're using uh, post-consumer polyester with undyed natural wool, and they're blended into a 50-50 blend of wool and, um, and polyester. And um, it's very green, but what we did, instead of trying to go to the lowest common denominator, like a lot of these polyester guys are for price point, we just said, yeah, it's gonna be a value, but we'll put a whole bunch of weight in it and make the designs absolutely, absolutely exquisite. And, um, and it'll cost a lot less. It just won't be cheap. 
but it'll be a tremendous value. And, and that was the concept behind that. And people, have, our salespeople are jumping up and down. They can't believe it. They think it's phenomenal. Of the sales that you have, how much of it's custom? How much of it is uh, inline goods? I would say that 25% um, of our sales are custom right now. We do a very, very good job of custom. And if you bring a custom job to us, we actually understand what you're talking about, where a lot of these companies don't. And um, we can get just about anything made, and we understand the process. So we do a good job in custom. So you play in the upper end of the market, uh, what some people would say the lux out of the market. How is that, uh, you know, with this with the tail end of the recession, uh, are you starting to see a little bit more energy in that uh, sector? You, you know, interestingly enough, the only thing that came back last year is the higher end. And um, we had a good year. Uh, it was almost miraculous the way I look at it, considering the fact that floor covering in general has not really come back. So we're, we're very upbeat right now. Right. Well, again, we've been talking to Jack Mishkin, who's the owner of J. Mish, and we're at Surfaces 2012, and you've been watching Kempar and FloorDaily.net.